or this is a trueability.com it's the their their main purpose is to to screen candidates for linux jobs so uh what they have is uh they have a server farm of virtual machines okay. so they will deliberately introduce a problem into one of those machines and then on the spot they uh, give you an assignment to fix yeah. this web server get it up and running in 30 60 minutes and you get a score based on how much you are able to do and how fast you are able to do and every every 2 months they have a competition every day they give a new challenge and uh, they have prizes and stuff and they have also started a new series um, but right now it's it's only got one one post in there but it it gives you the basics of how would you debug a server so if if somebody already had a web server but it it wasn't running properly say you it's you are hired by a company and they have a web server with a problem how would you what would be your first steps to diagnose the problem so this is a very good tutorial about that if you guys want we will we'll look at it um but uh once you have it you know set up after you create an account and everything yeah you you sign up it's free okay. and every time you take a challenge uh, it will give you like the tasks are i have to configure the firewall to allow the web server right so by so this this computer has some problems so i need to fix the firewall to make sure it, it the web service is running mm -hmm. i need to fix permissions for this particular uh -huh. folder and i have to restrict the root user to two logins now i know how to do one and two i don't know how to do three okay. so uh, i can try this now and um i can show you guys what to do but again i, I won't try to explain this too much so i have given given 60 minutes to do this this is the ip address of the computer given to me that's the the username and the password i need to use so I'll do s s s h login as the user root at the IP address. Since this is the first time I'm connecting, I'll have to say yes, and then it'll ask me for the password. So maybe they're in the heavy load, so it's slow. Yeah. Or maybe my machine is running slow at this time. But yeah, now it's going to ask for my password. I'll enter my password and log in. So uh, they said there's a problem with the with the web server. So this is a mini challenge. Okay, so this is a different challenge. So it says the the web server is supposed to display you know the mysql server version so if i do this so you see it's not working right now it says mysql server reports version it's not doesn't display anything yeah so uh, what this means is the web server is running okay but the mysql server is not running okay so what could be the reason uh we can check if mysql is running we can say uh so okay mysql is not running it seems because so i uh, i'll say service so mysql runs through a service so i say service my sql Security. So, the the name of the service for MySQL is MySQLD. I was always curious why why they why do they run it as a daemon process? And MySQLD is like a daemon process. Yeah, right? it's a, so so the the thing is uh, it's supposed to let you access your databases, but uh, many uh, many things should be able to do that. So. you can access it through php you can access it through so just the multiple connection say if they do it as a daemon process yeah uh, so okay. it, it runs as a server and you can connect you can run sql command and get the response back uh, so but this connection is local within this machine 
So you do all that. But see, uh, I, tr I gave the command, but the service didn't start. So, so the thing is, uh, I showed you that blog. So they have uh, like hints for you, like how would you approach a problem like this. And one of the hints was, look at the logs for this particular service. So on, on a Linux computer, all logs are stored in this location, slash var slash log. Okay. And in here, I'm expecting a MySQL folder. Uh, yeah, this one. OK, so this is directly uh, this file, I guess. Right? So I, I'll try to view this file. Uh, if I go to the end. Oh, it's shut down. So can't start server port address already in use. So it means that the server, oh, okay. the port that, so I said every server process hooks up to a port, right? Like, so this has a particular port, but it's already taken. So we need to figure that out and fix it. So what's the default port for MySQL? I don't know that. I'll, I'll have to Google. MySQL D port. Oh, you don't want to see this? No, no. I mean, it will be good if you do it on our own because we'll learn better. Since you, you have a good hold on commands, yeah. I don't have, a, frankly speaking, I don't have a good hold on commands. Yeah. So, uh, I'll, yeah, 3306. So, okay. So, so like some, somebody else yeah. is using uh, port 3306. And again, yes. in the blog, if you read the blog, mm -hmm. it says if you want to see which process is using which start. which port so there is a command called netstat and a specific set of options they they specified plant so if you do that it will yeah, net what what does netstat exactly do like uh, everything call the connection tells you uh, uh, the port numbers also right yes yeah. of all the services running on your uh, computer yes machine. yes so uh, port 3306 right is somebody using it? It's a TCP connection there. Where? The third one. Master. Where? You can see that on the screen. 899 master 336. Oh, this, oh, this yeah. one, yeah. yeah. So, so HTTPD. You can fill that. Okay, so see, uh, the web server HTTPD, there are two instances running. One is l the listening the on port 80, which is good. And but there are 22. It's also listening on the SQL port, oh, which is okay, wrong. So we need to fix the HTTP server to make it stop listening to that particular port. So, so like I said, go to the configuration files. So Apache 2. Oh, it's running in my SQL. Slash, uh, okay. And let's see. So. So typically it's, uh, so the thing is you should go and read the, the blog, it will explain a lot of things but uh, uh, if I look at this right, uh, 00 default.conf, so this is ok. Or maybe the SSL thing right, let's, let's look at the SSL thing. So the the oh. SSL server. So regular websites they are served on port 80. Mm. Secure websites are That's served on. Uh, yeah, they they are oh, supposed okay. to come out on port 443, right? Oh, okay, yeah. 443 is is the default mm. port okay. for secure sites. So now we'll do um, a re server restart because we change the configuration. sudo service. Okay, so it's up and running. Run now let's try starting MySQL. Yeah. So now it's it's running, and now if we run the command in the challenge, oh, I close that page. Uh, the first time, the first time. Okay, so I need to do cu. Or I need to check if it's working or not. So since so now now we are getting the 
So the web server is running and it's able to successfully connect to the SQL server. So you, you ran a SQL command. No, I opened a web page so which so made an SQL, SQL command, command, got the version number and printed. So you should check out this website, it's nice. Uh, and that's all.